Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at your energy. We're going to take a look at who's coming towards you. And if these messages resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just a friendly reminder, I am available for private readings. So if you're after one, um, excuse me, I do have those links down below in the description box. All right, so let's see. Clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Capricorns, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, your energy, the Seven of Swords, okay? In the past, you've learned Tower Energy in reverse, okay? Moving away from a situation to avoid disaster. You might be avoiding somebody. You know, Capricorn, some of you, you may have ghosted someone or maybe faded out of their life to avoid disaster because you were seeing some pretty big red flags or maybe you felt like they were trying to use you. All right, your obstacles and challenges, we have the Magician card and the person coming towards you, ooh, is Karmic Justice, possibly a Libra, definitely someone you're going to end up in a higher level of commitment with. And we have the world card energy in reverse, but there might be something that needs to be closed out here with this past person first. Uh, maybe you don't feel that way, but I do feel there's somebody from your past that might feel that way. Um, but again, you decide. You decide what's right for you. Um, the Seven of Swords tells me some of you have been avoidant in love or just avoiding love, maybe just focused on you. Um, some of you may also feel like you were really duped by someone or I don't know. I just feel like you, I just feel like you needed to get away from someone here. I am seeing three, three, three on the clock. So that may be an important number sequence for my Capricorns out there. All right, let's see. And we've got, yep. Some of you, you just stopped putting effort into love and relationships. Cause I feel like there was some sort of major disappointment or something that just like really turned you off here in your past. Yeah. Some of you, you were dealing with somebody who was a bit of a narcissist or it was my way or the highway. Maybe they were trying to control you. Um, I also feel like, yeah, it's kind of like my Capricorns. I, I feel like this person was also trying to use you or maybe they wanted you to be like, um, like a parental figure to them, or maybe you felt that way about them. I don't know. It's interesting energy, but I do think you're a little bit angry and triggered here by this past person. Maybe some of you have healed that or are healing that, but I do think it's kind of you know, pulled you, pulled you out of the dating game for a second, right? Just so you can focus on yourself. Cause I'm just kind of getting like, what the hell was that type energy, right? Tower in reverse. So you've learned to move away to avoid disaster. Yep. You've, you, you made a decision here to cut someone off. Okay. I think, I, I feel like this is really coming from a place of power and strength. Now, maybe some of you are questioning, did you do it too quickly? Did you do it the right way? But I'm just getting self-preservation here, Capricorn. Yeah. Because somebody here, they were being strategic. They were probably using you. They weren't putting in the effort. That could be a pattern in your dating life. And you're just kind of like, okay, I got to fix this. I get your obstacles and challenges here are the magician card. So really, truly believing that you have all the tools that you need to really call in, create the life and the love, the relationship that you truly want. Some of you, you're just kind of doubtful right now, maybe even a little bit pessimistic. Um, but after what you've been through, it kind of feels like, you know, I get it. I can see why. Um, but I also feel your challenge here is also paying attention to, you know, you're making sure that your actions really fit in with the big picture. Because for some of you, this might have been a superficial connection in the past. Um, or maybe you're realizing like you were maybe choosing people or allowing people into your life and ignoring the red flags, or maybe, you know, I don't want to say that you're, you were being superficial, but maybe some of you, you know, you might have a soft spot for people who are extremely good looking, right? And most of us do, and there's nothing really wrong with that. But again, it may have clouded you looking at whether or not they really brought any sort of substance or value to your life or to the relationship. So I do think you're kind of like going through a little bit of a transition here, doing this introspection. Spirit's telling my Capricorns to watch your words, okay? Pay attention to, you know, your thoughts becoming things. Because if you are in a pessimistic attitude, you know, you're going to, you know, keep attracting disappointments is kind of what I'm getting. So some of you, you might want to work with affirmations or if you find yourself talking to yourself negatively or talking negatively about love in general, just try to switch that, you know, flip, flip the script there is what I'm hearing. And some of you, you're just doubting whether or not there's anybody truly out there for you. Um, you're meant to be focused on your finances right now, Capricorn. 
Um, some of you, you, I do feel like you, you felt like somebody here was a gold digger or they were using you or they weren't ever taking you out on dates. Um, you know, you were the one that always had to, you know, drive to their house. You had to make the dates, you had to pay for things, this and that. So I do feel like you're, you're recovering financially. Some of you also, um, it's really important that you focus on your health. I'm seeing like a little bit of rosacea. Okay. Like somebody might have rosacea or maybe a little bit of eczema even. And I feel like, you know, when things are going on within like on your skin it's usually indicative of something else and it really just might be stress or something like that but i'm seeing some of you you're working on clearing up your skin or maybe just like you know hydrating um but anyway it's, it's just a little side message there and it's not going to be for all of you but in in general i feel like spirit saying it's time to like really focus on your health and your wellness because again stress here might have taken a toll on your physical body. It takes a toll on all of us in some way, shape, or form, but it comes out in physical ways differently on all of us. Yeah, and some of you, again, I, you might still be a little bit triggered. You might be feeling a little bit like less than confident in the choices that you've made in love. I just feel like you're doing a lot of reflection here, but never fear. You've got this justice card coming towards you, this person who may be a Libra or they just, they're just very balanced. They're very fair. I think you're going to really like this about this person. They're going to be authentic. Um, they're going to be honest. A lot of you, it could be a twin flame here. Okay. And, um, okay. Six of pentacles in reverse. This person may, they might tell you they've had an investment that went wrong or they're recovering their finances. I don't think that they're, I don't think that they're not financially stable, but they may be telling you they lost some money in like the stock market, something having to do with housing, um, okay. So, and, and they might too, that you, you two might talk about, looks like they've been disappointed in love. I feel you're both kind of looking for something a little bit more traditional in the sense that like where we date, we get to know each other, you know, like, you know, back in the day when it was like, it was a little bit more innocent. It was easier to choose, you know, a partner because there wasn't so much social media and filters and all that stuff. So the sun card in reverse tells me you're not going to see this coming. This person could also be a Leo. Um, they, you, I, I feel like this person is going to come off like they have a lot more than they do. And I don't think it's because they're hiding it. Okay. But I just feel like this person is very, very well put together. I feel like this is somebody who may not have a lot of stuff, but what they do have is very nice. Okay. So I don't, I feel like, I, I know this is a really weird message coming through, but it's like, they're not super, they're not a consumerist a consumer so much, right? Like, whereas I feel like maybe you had somebody here that in your past who was maybe very materialistic or like, you know, had a bit of a overspending shopping habit, lots of credit card debt. And like this person may not have, like I, I'm, they, some of you, they do have money, right? But for others of you, it's just like, they're going to come off like they have a lot more than they really do. But it's not that they're cheating you or duping you. It's just that they're a very high quality person, Okay, so that's the message there. This is a very high quality person, but again, they might not be a millionaire, okay? And I don't think it's, you're not gonna feel duped by them by any means. Um, I do see this as somebody here who's also been disappointed in love. I do feel too, some of my Capricorns, you might feel like this person gets a lot of attention because I do see that they're, again, they're a top tier type person. Um, they're very good looking. They're very well put together. So some of you might think that, oh God, this person has like, probably a major ego, but I don't think that's the case. And we see the two of wands. This is another twin flame card for me. So a lot of you, this really is a very important connection. It's a destined connection. Um, I also feel this person looking at that stag. For some reason, I always think of stags when I think of Capricorn, um, even though I know you're represented by the goat and more specifically the sea goat. Um, but I feel like this person's probably also really checking you out. I'm kind of getting you two are going to when you the first time you meet, you're gonna stop in each stop each other in their tracks. Like you're both gonna be like a deer in headlights. Like whoa, who is that? What was that? All right, we do see some Virgo energy. I do think you're both gonna be looking at the details here again because you've both been disappointed in love and want to do things right. I just feel like you're on the same page. All right, so let's see before we move into their energy. Let's see if there's any messages that my Capricorns need to hear. I am going to be reading from the Heal Yourself um, reading cards by Ina Segal. This is one of my favorite decks that I personally turn to when I need a little bit more guidance. So I do want to share these messages with you as you're on this healing journey. 
All right, what do my Capricorns need to be aware of? The Phoenix rising, here you are. Phoenix rising from the ashes. Again, I do think some of my Capricorns out there, you're feeling a bit pessimistic about love. And you know, I can completely see why, but that is about to change. I feel this is a total game changer for you. The Phoenix rising from the ashes, this card, the messages here, is everything in your life is falling apart in order for you to rise from the ashes with renewed strength, okay? Maybe not everything is falling apart, although maybe some of you, you feel that way or you felt that way recently. But this is not a time to create, but a time to sweep away everything that has not worked in your life. I think you're doing that. The reason so many things are breaking down and not going your way is because the old cycle of your life is completing. You may feel that you are walking through the fires of life right now in order to be cleansed and purified for your rebirth. Soon you will not recognize yourself. You are reclaiming your spirit. If possible, try to isolate yourself from the chaos surrounding you. Now is the time for you to feel any pain that you have previously suppressed so that you can heal. The universe has plans and opportunities that are better than you can imagine. So let go and trust and anticipate what is coming. Boom, there it is. I love these messages for you. I know you can hear the excitement in my voice because my Capricorns, you deserve this. You deserve love. You deserve somebody who gets you and, and, and to move forward here with this person. So let's see, any additional wisdom for my Capricorns, please, at this time? Any additional wisdom for my Capricorns? please. All right. So we see choose to be with someone who loves you, supports you and never makes you feel small. Yeah. Because I think that's the big lesson or the big takeaway from that person you've moved away from. All right. And, uh, somewhere you are, somewhere you lost who you are time to return to yourself and nurture that part of you that needs breathing room. Yes. Cause I feel like you had a parasite back there, right? This, uh, this past energy that you moved away to avoid disaster. I feel like they were just using you or that's how you felt, or you just felt they were lazy in the relationship or they were superficial. And, and you may have lost yourself trying to make it work, trying to be the provider, the protector, trying, trying to, you know, keep things together. And I feel like you're done doing that. And you know what, Capricorn, thank you. <laughs> thank you, because we all need to take a page out of your book, okay? So let's take a look and see additional messages for my Capricorns. All right, yep, yeah, so we do see that um, some of you, you're, some of you with that health message, you are healing from something, any sort of excess. I just feel like there's a, an energy of being hung over here from love. Um, but I do think there was a codependency there. There was definitely this, that connection was blocked. Don't, don't I feel like we don't even need to think about it. Um, this new person you might meet online it doesn't have to be, but there may be some sort of connection or setup or hookup or meeting online. But I do think you're going to spend a lot of time talking to this person, and it's possible that there's distance here between the two of you. But you know, sometimes that's really a perfect Capricorn because it allows you to really get to know how people feel. I hear you talking about politics. I hear you talking about religion, spirituality, the economy even. Like, I just feel like you're going to really connect with this person. They're going to be on your wavelength, share your interests. I feel you're going to be like, okay, they're finally, this is somebody really switched on. Okay, I love this for you. And a lot of you, you're going to end up marrying this person. I mean, it's come through already in a couple of the cards. Um, you definitely were dealing with somebody who was a user or a narcissist or just super self-absorbed there in the past, but you're going to marry the right person, Capricorn, which is awesome. Okay, so let's see. What is it that they're going to really love about you? What is it that this person's going to really, really love about my Capricorns? And this is also the energy, you know, the attributes that you may want to highlight over the next couple of weeks to be more successful in love. But mostly it's what is this person going to love about my Capricorns here? All right, so they love that you're intuitive. They may also love that you love tarot and spirituality, um, but they, they see that you're willing to follow your intuition even when others doubt you, okay? So again, you're that cardinal Capricorn energy. You know, you'll do things even, even if everybody else doesn't agree or, you know, think it's right, but you know what's right for you. And they see you, okay, they don't see you as a servant, okay, but they see that you delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. So like you are this beautiful, helpful person, but I feel like in the past you felt like people may have taken advantage of that or, you know, wanted you to do more than you were capable of doing or more than you should have done. So I, I do really like this energy for you because this person likes that you're a good person, but they're not going to be taking advantage of that. I feel like they are also a very good person. 
Um, and it feels like a perfect match, but let's see, how else can we identify this person? We do see that they may have strong uh, Leo or Libra in their chart. Okay, they could be Pisces or just embody this energy. There's an air of mystery surrounding them. And though they can be quiet, their thoughts and emotions run deep. All right, they may come from a large family. I'm hearing like it could be like Greek or Italian. It doesn't have to be either one of those things, but it feels like they've got, they come from a big family here or a cultural tradition that, you know, where, where there's extended family, cousins, aunts, uncles, things like that. And uh, they, that strong air energy most likely is Libran energy. Could be Aquarius or Gemini. Ooh, and it looks like they've got some Capricorn placements, which I know you're going to appreciate because their stability and their work are a high priority. This person's quite proud of what they have and what they have to offer. Again, they're probably gonna look like they have a lot more than they do, but it's like they definitely have enough, right? And it's like they're very well put together. This is a person of substance and quality. All right, so again, they're not the type of person that's gonna be like buying a whole bunch of junky stuff, right? They're, when they do make purchases, I know this is such a weird message coming through, but when they do make purchases, they're gonna make nice purchases, quality purchases. And I feel like that's, they're fiscally conservative, but I also feel like they're very smart. Um, you know, and I think you're gonna like that. I feel like my Capricorns, you, you know, you can, you're gonna, you're, you can F with that, right? All right, so let's see, when it comes to this connection, what else do my Capricorns need to know? When it comes to this connection, what else do my Capricorns need to know? All right, some of you might meet this person on holiday. Some of you, you're gonna travel a lot. Enjoy a change of scenery to spice up your love life. You might meet this person somewhere you've never been before. So let's say you and your friends always grab brunch on Sunday at one restaurant and you go somewhere else, you might meet this person. All right, I know that's a very weirdly, wildly specific message, but it may resonate with some of you, but I also feel this person's different than your usual type. Um, and we see self-love. So love yourself first, Capricorn. Beautiful. And soulmate. Yeah. You have found your romantic counterpart. And this is going to be a very healing connection, I feel like, for both of you. Um, your romance will transform your life. Some of you, this person, you might meet them in a warm climate or their family or they come from a warmer climate. I'm also seeing palms. Palms and palm trees. Maybe there's a logo. Maybe, you know, you go to a restaurant that has that on the logo um, or that, you know, they live in Miami or something like that. Let's see. Or maybe you do. Let's see. Um, March. So they could be a March Pisces here and April. Okay. So March and April. So some of my Capricorns, maybe you're going to have to wait a little bit for this person. But in the meantime, focus on your health, focus on your finances. Do you, Capricorn. This is coming in. This is the person you're going to marry. And the right person is always worth the wait. Now, maybe April and March or March and April are not exactly when you're going to meet this person. That may be when, you know, when things come into a higher level of commitment. But this can also be, you know, some of you, this breakup that you experienced might have happened in the spring around March and April. Okay, so the March and April is gonna have different meanings for all of you. So just, you know, trust your intuition here. Okay, some of you, there may be a, a, a woman named April involved in bringing you two together, or maybe that's you or your person. Final messages for my Capricorns, please. Nothing is wasted, yeah. You're, what you've learned in the past, I mean, I know it's it kind of sucks that you have to experience these karmic lessons, but really it's making you it's making you who you are today and who the person coming towards you is going to fall in love with. All right. And we see know your worth. Yep, you know your worth and your value. I love that. And claim your independence. So there might be a time of being single or just being independent, especially if you were part of a codependent connection and in the past there, I think you're gonna really relish your freedom and your independence at this time. All right, Capricorns, I'm gonna leave it here. If these messages resonate with you, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you wanna follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light, Capricorns, take care.